Hey guys, welcome back to more Coral Island. Uh, I just had one of those like strange dream things. Who's asking me to now? Oh. Wait, merit points? What was that? Can I reread mail? No? Oh, come on. Town rank, uh, museum, ocean, ocean, town rank, chip helmet, all that stuff. It's still one that I didn't do. Oh, potatoes are a single item. I thought it would be like, uh, you know how in like Stardew Valley you get like five potatoes? Because potatoes aren't like this. Like you don't have one potato and then one leaf bunch on the top. It's usually like you have a bunch of stuff stuck to a potato. At least that's from what I've seen. Potatoes are like that. Oh, I've missed... I missed this one because it's hidden in the back. Damn. Okay, whatever. Uh, dump the potatoes in here. I will keep that one. For a while. Uh, oh, okay. I'm completely out of room, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to make another makeshift chest. Let's make two while I'm at it. Uh, one, two, and then let's just dump it in here. Let's dump this in here as well. Uh, I guess I should dump the shift fishing rod in there too, because I don't really like fishing. Yeah, looks good to me. Uh, let's see, do I have any skills to learn? Nope. I'm actually very curious to know how much a bronze bar sells for. Like, it might be more reasonable for me to upgrade my pickaxe and just, just keep on going into the cavern every single day to, like, farm bronze, basically. Just keep on doing bronze mining and then bronze smelting and just keep on repeating that. Uh, maybe that's the best way for me to make money because that's very consistent and can do it every single day. Everything else feels like it's not as good. What? Still don't understand. Took me a look at it. Oh, nope. There's something else. Something different. Whoa. That's like Mr. Popo. the hell is that wait he ran off completely or like what am I supposed to do he, he ran off somewhere stranger maybe it's that one you know what never mind I'm just gonna go and do the uh, cavern because I think it's like a quest sequence and I can't really do anything. I don't think it's that one. So let's just go harvest the canola. And let's head over into the cavern and start mining. And hunting monsters. Okay. So 20. I think based on how the layout looks, there's going to be like 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And then 50 is probably the end. Yeah, I think 50 is probably the end. Because there's like four more boxes you can have. That's a new monster. Wow, do extra damage on that one. Wait, is it not dead? Oh, it attacks you after it dies.
Oh, found the hole. Oh, right. I didn't go to the guild yet. I should probably go to the guild so I can get uh, those monster hunting quests. I forgot about it. I wonder if I'm just like missing out on uh, a lot of money making potential because I haven't been doing all of the side, like the quests. I don't know. Like maybe there's an optimized way to earn money early game because right now it feels like I'm earning very slowly. Cool. Another hole. Ooh, lots of ores. Very good. Kill these monsters and then mine those ores. I feel like there's a lot of health in this game. Like 484, I don't feel like I'm ever close to dying. But then I'm always feeling like I'm out of stamina. So it feels like there's a lot of extra health, but not a lot of extra stamina. Which is kind of strange for a simulation game. Most of the time you don't run that low on stamina, but here I'm always low on stamina. I think I'm going to be able to get to 30. Wow, that is so hard to hit. Okay, I think I'm just going to go kill the monsters up here and then uh, mine these two ores and then I'm out. Yeah, I actually don't even have to worry about dodging because it just doesn't do enough to make it dangerous. I'm sure there's going to be like a boss or something. Like maybe when you reach the bottom of the earth cavern. Um, but it's not, it's not enough to be scary. Unless the damage level like increases significantly. Yeah, there's no way that it ends on stage like 35, right? Because it would look weird. Oh, people actually respond to you not being at the event. Well, I don't actually plan on doing a lot of the events. But then again, I probably should. I don't know. I'll think about it. Let's see. I'm trying to just rush into like getting the uh, more efficient tools as soon as possible, which is why when I play these kind of games, I always want to figure out what the best upgrades are and then how I can get those as soon as possible. Uh, I don't know how much potatoes actually sell for. And depending on that, potatoes might actually be better to farm than the turnips. Oh, I should probably go to the general store. Right. Uh, let's head over to the general store. Oh man, it's so far away. I really want to upgrade the running speed and stuff like that, but I can. Uh, let's see, shop, potatoes, seeds. Okay, uh, how many can I buy? Oh, I can buy a lot actually. Forty-two. So not enough to fill the entire field, but close enough to most of it. Oh wait, I can actually fill it out because I still have a cauliflower. That's taking up eight slots, so I have enough to fill everything out with a little bit of extra to spare, which is cool. I wonder if fertilizer you're supposed to use it before or after you plant it. Let's try out fertilizer. 
tough meat, certainly not edible. Okay. Can I use it? Non-seed crops. Oh, okay, so you have to put it down first and then put this? Yep, okay, I see. Oh, you can also put it down afterwards, too. As long as you don't... Ha as long as it's not a little bit grown, you can still fertilize it. At least I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, okay. You can still fertilize stuff as long as it's not grown a little bit yet. Uh, let's see... I'm very low on energy. Do I have any food that I can eat? Yes, I do. But I don't want to use up my food. I'd rather sell it. Uh, let's see. Creates a small vortex. What is that for? Edible snack? Sure. Above goop. Oh, that's not bad. 60 energy, 50 health. That's better than the uh, other food that I have. I'm pretty sure there's going to be like cooking recipes later, right? Because I feel like food has a pretty key uh, importance in this game. Mainly because your stamina is so low. Without food, you can barely do anything. Okay, how much money did I make? 1,600 pudding pota potatoes are 75 each. Uh, I do think that is better than turnips. Turnips, I think when I sold nine, I had 600. I don't know what that is or where that is. Uh, afraid I was when you summoned me, but open path she has to my home. This means human can come visit me. Uh, you will meet how to heal the island. Oh, okay. Left of your farm. So like here? Okay. Oh, there's actually like a, a little flower petal kind of thing. I'm assuming that's going to guide me to the chieftain. Yeah, it's definitely to guide me there, but I already figured it out. catch that that beetle looked like it was gonna disappear wait I thought the chieftain would be here where do you go oh these icons look the same as the cavern ones so I think it's something that unlocks maybe a regional thank you human to come here you're trying
Oh, I'm ready to understand language of Ode. Well, that's not really useful. Hmm. What does talking to the goddess give me? Entrance exam, mythical, question mark, I did it. Extractor into the ocean gives you a diving suit, or you have that. Okay. Uh, Spring Friday. Oh, I should probably go to the blacksmith and upgrade the hammer first. Yeah, because I have enough to buy the hammer upgrade. Oh, but then I'll take a day and I can't go into the. Uh, oh, well. Oh, how much does bronze sell for, actually? I, I forgot to take a look. Oops, I actually deposited it. I thought I was bringing it up. Uh, it sells for... Let's see. I forgot to check how much it sold for. Let's see. Most of my money came from my potatoes. So I think it only sells for like maybe a hundred or something. Which is not worth it. At least not until you upgrade everything. But then it also depends on after when you upgrade everything if it still needs uh Oh right. Do, do, do they take insects? Can I donate insects? Yes I can. Oh, there was a reward. Candy seeds. Oh. This is the wrong one. Man, I really hate this. Like, the whole walking to the blacksmithing is taking me so long. It's so far away, and the map is so big, and you walk so slow. This is like the absolute worst combination I've ever seen in a game. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring wood. That's right, I need wood. Oh, I have to go all the way back. See, this is the worst. I'm gonna just look and see how long this takes. So, uh, I'm at 1851 seconds. And now I'm rushing all the way back to the farm. No detours, so I can get my wood, so I can go all the way back. How long is it gonna take me? Oh man, it's taking so long. Okay, so it took me close to 45 seconds just to go from the blacksmith all the way back to the base. I think that is pretty ridiculous if you ask me. It takes too long, close to a minute, just to walk back and forth between two locations. Stardew Valley does not feel that long. And neither does like story of season. It feels so much faster. So my estimate and like I thought it was taking me like close to 45 seconds to get there. But I think it's actually closer to um, maybe 15 seconds in story of seasons and like Stardew Valley. Because it feels so much faster. And there's also a shortcut. I remember there's like a mine cart or something that lets you go directly there. Yeah, it takes way too long. Uh, I need the bronze pickaxe. Yes, upgrade. And I'm ready in one day, so I lose my pickaxe for a day, and I have to go and find something else to do, which means I am going to go diving? No, let's actually talk to Pufferfish, because I've never been into this. Oh, this building is like nothing. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, this is probably like the only thing I don't like about the game. It's just how slow you walk. But then 
Maybe once I upgrade, uh, I, I really want to upgrade the sprinting speed. Like, this is so important, I think. This is taking so long. Oh, you can get mushroom logs. I can get mushrooms. Yeah, this is so important. Come on, give me this soon. It's just so slow. Like, this is just so painful. Good thing it's like the first skill you can get. This is so slow. I hate this. Uh, I guess I could clean up the field, but then I could just sleep and get my axe. So I think I, I will just sleep and get my axe. Oh. And plant the remaining seeds. I forgot to plant that. Let's just quickly fast forward so I can get that upgraded axe. Yes, it's complete, but I can't pick it up until the next, like until nine, right? some potatoes I actually haven't seen any crows attack any plants so I don't know if this is actually even necessary like normally you see like seagulls or something attack your crops even like once but I haven't seen that happen at all You can hug butter? How do you make friends with the cat? Wait, can I give stuff to people? Oh, I can. Pineapples this summer? I don't know. Take this gift. Oh, so you can give people stuff. Okay, let's find someone else to give people stuff. I don't have any relationship built uh, whatsoever right now. So I think it's probably a good idea while I'm waiting for stuff to, like, the time to pass. Hey, there's a crab grave. Can I kill them? Can't do anything with them. Oh yeah, I was asked to go to Lake Tepo. I should think I should probably do that. And since I'm over here, and I don't think I've talked to these two, so let's talk to them. Uh, 
and craft a flower bouquet. Oh. Okay, that seems pretty easy to do. What? I totally clicked the, the catch button. Hmm. So how do I get into the lake? It's... There's like too much water. Can I just walk on it? Oh. Okay, temple offering. So it's exactly like. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, and then you need one of each spring thing? Oh no, daisy, carrot, turnip, wasabi. Wasabi? I haven't seen any wasabi. Oh, this is gonna be annoying to get. But yeah, it's exactly the same as um, Stardew Valley. You just want to make sure you co you're collecting everything. One of each for each season, and then you donate it. So yeah, this game is definitely heavily inspired by Stardew Valley. Oh, what's this? But yeah. Uh, nothing wrong with that though. I'm um, just saying, like it's. I see the similarities, and I like Stardew Valley. Um, so it's not a bad thing at all. Uh, currently, I do think Stardew Valley is better uh, in terms of pacing and econo economy. Um, but I don't know if it's because I'm doing something wrong here. Um, but I feel extremely poor for some reason. But in Stardew Valley, I never felt like this poor. Like we're already in spring uh in the 13th day and i still feel extremely poor so it feels kind of strange here normally by this time you have like some farmed up stuff um i don't know if it's because i focused a little bit too much on cavern and cavern isn't a good source of income or something like that but we'll see uh Yeah, so I'm just going to head back to the farm to dump off my stuff. And then I'll head over to the cavern, maybe. Because I have some candy. Um, so I'm going to go to the cavern. Oh, I forgot to get my axe back. Oh, damn it. There's so many things that I keep forgetting. It's so annoying. Uh... Let's actually donate some of this stuff because I don't know how much they're worth. Uh, yeah, this stuff, just throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Potato. Okay, and then I guess I'm heading over to grab my axe again. Uh, I've done that a few times already, so I'm just going to skip forward. Alright, so I'm here at the blacksmith. Man, I really hate this tr uh, this little hike because I've gone through it so many times already. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What do you mean, hide there? I want uh, my pickaxe. Did you break it? Yeah, cool. But where's my pickaxe? I need my pickaxe. What? He closed? Ugh. 
<laughs> this game is uh, so annoying. I just wanted to pick up my pickaxe, and then I forgot my to pick it up. So when I, by the time I walked back, it took one hour in game time. <sighs> and I have to wait for the next day to be able to get my pickaxe now. So annoying. Oh, this is a recycling plant. Okay. So there's definitely some way to recycle stuff uh, later, I think. It's just not really open yet. So my guess is as you progress through the tiers, like rank F, rank um, and so on, uh, of your like town level, that's when you start getting more NPCs coming over and then you unlock more features, more stuff to do. Uh, and that's probably where I'll be able to get recycling plants or something like that. You know what? I'm just going to go to bed and skip forward to the next day so I can actually pick up my pickaxe so I can move forward with the cavern. I want to progress with the cavern. This whole walking to the blacksmith thing is so annoying to me because it takes so long. And I don't know how to actually get EXP for foraging because I feel like I forage plenty. Like, oh, whoops. This skill is not going up as fast as you would want, you would expect it to. Like, I don't know if this is even good because it's 25 chance, so then you still have to kind of water your plants, anyways, right? Gather wood and forage items to gain experience in foraging mastery. Oh, gather wood, so I should chop down a tree. Please send something my way. Bring any spring vegetable to Suki. Uh, goddess blessing, complete a temple offering. This will take a while to complete one though. Okay, so I guess I should just probably cut some wood until nine. Okay, just cutting down some trees and my stamina is already at, like, pretty much out. It kind of feels off, like, why your stamina decreases so quickly in this game. Like, I can barely have enough stamina to even water all my plants. Ah. <sighs>
Oh, the blacksmith is closed on Sundays. Okay, so I have to wait till the next day to be able to get that. Uh, wow. It took so it takes taking me so long to get the pickaxe back. Let's see, foraging, I can now make kiln. Uh, what does kiln do? I think it lets me burn wood for uh, charcoal. Which is, I don't know how useful that actually is, because you get enough of that just from mining. Let's meet Sam at the general store. Okay, sounds good, but I need to water my plants first in case I forget. Oh, I should probably upgrade the sprint speed. Yes. I don't feel much faster, though. How come I can't interact with these guys? Wow, that's expensive. Okay, good. So I finally got my tool back. Um, let's move it back into the correct position. Uh, and now I'm going to head over to the general store so I can talk to that Sam.
Oh, so it's still the same. I just put it in the shipping box. Yeah, but bronze quality of food isn't something that I can really control at the moment. I need to complete uh, the extractor thingy that uses bronze kelp. And then that's when I get upgraded seeds, I think I'll be able to get more bronze fruits and foods. Some of these NPC questions seem kind of weird. Like, why do you always see me here? Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because, like, I'm, my farm's right here. I mean, what do you want me to say? Okay, let's just dump everything in here. And now it's time to go for the cavern. Let's try to at least get to 30 this time. Wait. Oh, I don't get to charge it? So it doesn't actually get, uh, the AOE doesn't get bigger. Oh, that is not, that's unfortunate. I thought it would be like a uh, story of seasons where you get an increasingly larger area of effect. Cause like the coolest thing about uh, Story of Seasons with the pickaxe when you upgrade it is that the AOE gets bigger when you charge it and eventually it gets so big where it covers like, I don't know, 25% of like this room or something like, no not 25, like 10% like this huge square but unfortunately in this one it's not, it doesn't even add any like AOE, you still have to smash everything one by one. Which is kind of really like when you're coming into a saturated farming sim market and you have features that are not as good as existing options it's a hard sell for me like just seeing that lack of The lack of like being able to do something that really is ex exists in another game is really dampening my will to wanting to like finish or complete this game because like there's so many things that i am not entirely happy with uh first of all is like how slow you run like the map there's good things like the map looks really good the graphics looks pretty good uh it looks artistic um and it's kind of interesting like all the mechanics but then there's also a lot of things i don't really like which is like the whole aoe thing that i mentioned and then like the lack of stamina like i have to mine almost the entire room and i still can't find that hole because there's no indicators and you don't have the aoe to help you do that and your stamina is so low so it's like i'm trying to progress and the only thing i can do is head back and that's an entire day wasted and there's no automation like there's no it doesn't seem like there's any sprinklers or anything uh so it's like i don't feel like i'm making a lot of progress and in this type of like farming sim game where you don't have uh combat as like the main focus progress in your farming adventure is basically the most important thing I, I don't feel like I'm making a lot of money. I don't feel like I'm making a lot of progress. I don't feel like a lot's happening. There's not a lot of offense. 
It's kind of annoying to play because you always have to keep on walking back to sleep. Uh, so, I don't know. Oh, sprinklers. Okay, I stand corrected. There are sprinklers, which is very good. So there is something to really alleviate the whole repetitive nature of the firing. So that is definitely good. See, I don't do like ruin my experience. So I try to review things firsthand. So I stand corrected instantly after I complained about having to spend all my stamina on watering plants. Uh, so I can't really automate it. But now it turns out if there's sprinklers, that means I can get around that issue. Uh, and that would help me save a lot of stamina and that would be very good and I can start really ramping up progress So early unlocks on stamina is actually extremely important in any kind of farming sim I think like if you don't have an early unlock you're basically screwing over yourself or any kind of like farming sim because Nobody wants to play a game that takes forever to ramp up on how much resource you have. It's just bad design so, water's a radius of nine tiles, and I need silver kelp to do that. That means I should probably progress in my gardening stuff. Uh, I mean, the underwater stuff. Okay, I'm going to keep five of everything. Just in case I need to do the uh, spring mission later. And there's something special about But yeah, good set. You can finally make some progress here. Uh, I don't need this if I'm gonna have sprinklers because it's gonna water every single day. So it's double crops or better quality. And from what I saw, double seems better because the better quality crops is only adding about like, I think a potato is 75 and then a bronze potato is 85 which is about 10 uh, let's see 75 10 percent is 82 so it's 82 so it's about 15 percent more per star and so right now because the only most of the stuff i make is non-starred it's better and more efficient to have more lower grade stuff than to go for higher grade stuff mainly because you just can't get that many higher grade stuff yet uh, but once you do get higher grade stuff you should start doing the 10% because then it can upgrade to an even higher tier okay so oh this is sea salt I think sea salt was something that I needed to get Restoring this area, and then I should open up this one, right? Yes. Now, I need to get the silver kelp in order to get sprinklers, so I'm rushing that. But yeah, the early game part is definitely not as good as um, some of the existing ones. I haven't played the new Story of Seasons, so when I say Story of Seasons, I mean the uh, Olive Town version. Pioneers of Olive Town, which I believe is the Nintendo Switch one. That one was very fun. Um, progression was very quick. Felt very good to play. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, and I think it's actually on PS Plus Extra if you have it. Uh, definitely give it a shot. It's fun. Harvest Moon is not good at all, I think. They've really dropped the ball on Harvest Moon. It's very strange now, so I don't know why. Like, you would think that for your decades of experience of making 2D Harvest Moon games, moving to a 3D-ish kind of view, 2.5D kind of like this game, would be very straightforward, but for some reason, for... Harvest Moon, which is Nasume or something, I think that was the company name. It's like a the hardest thing for them or something. They can never get it right. It just feels awkward because I used to really like playing the GBA Harvest Moon games, but for some reason everything is so 
badly designed now for their new stuff. I haven't played the newest one, so I'm commenting about the previous ones that came out. The ones that are like in 2016 and 2018, I think, and 2020. Those ones were all very strange for me. I didn't like it at all. Because it was just awkwardly done. But I mean, it's it's disappointing to see how uh, a company can like drop the ball so many times to the point where it's like I don't want to buy Harvest Moon games anymore. Just no matter like how nostalgic it does seem, because it's been so long since I've been playing those. Um, but when you're seeing like indie titles come out that have like way better everything, there's no reason for me to even remotely want to play them. Um, so far though, if you're asking me like based on seeing the existence of a sprinkler, I'm feeling much a little bit better uh, Knowing that there is some form of automation, but I still absolutely hate how much time it wastes before you get like walking to a and a to b and all that stuff uh, so What are they doing? This guy feels like a ass, but I don't really care. I don't know why they have these random cutscenes. Like, it just feels so out of place. It's not even a quest line. They're just... I guess they're trying to build character. Like, giving you a feel of random person ABC. Wait, is that... Oh, fruits. Well, yeah. Well, of course I'm going to take it. It's free money. Coconut. Oh, it's very interesting. I didn't notice like these coconuts on the trees. Or did they just grow? Because it wasn't there before, I don't think. Very interesting. I actually haven't seen a lot of things coming back after I clear them. Like, I clear this part. It's been very clean the entire time. So I'm wondering, like, maybe it doesn't matter if you keep them like if you um oh, let's just sell all this stuff first yeah but maybe it's like it's good for you to keep all this uh stuff like cleared out all at once and then maybe it doesn't come back i don't know whoa 20 oh right i sold a lot of food uh, i thought the foraging stuff had okay 40 something yeah, so you can see it's about 15%. 10% would make this 44, and it's higher than that. So it's like 45, kind of. I mean, uh, 15, yeah. Because 5% 22. Yeah, that's $2. Uh, looks like you're ready for the sprinkler. Water for you. Craft is and use of necessary materials. Yes, awesome. That's what I wanted. Uh, so this makes it a little bit awkward because I can only have this in a five times five, and then this only does three times three. So I can do that, and then this would only uh, let me fl like basically have this a tiny area. Why would you give me a photo of like your wife? I don't understand. Can I sell it? No, I can't. So basically, it's stuck here in my inventory. Why do I have someone else's wife's photo in my inventory? can only slam stuff so no charge for the hammer for sure hmm how come only those few trees had oh nope this one does coconut you know that's actually pretty cool 
having coconuts grow on the wild in so many at once too. Like so many coconuts. I really need to get those silver kelp though. So I can start making the sprinklers. I think that's definitely always like the number one thing I rush for. Because once you get to save all your stamina into doing exploratory and all that stuff, your game progresses so much faster. So I've been tr really trying to rush to the uh, next area. I'm, I'm assuming once I unlock all five, it unlocks the next tier. Uh, which means like this depth meter increases, I think. What? Wait, didn't I open that? Oh, that's not it. Oh, I have to go this side. Okay. Wait, there's a fossil here. Am I supposed to dig this? Or how do I get it out? I don't know. Okay. Lots of trash. This part should be cleared as well, and I should just wait for that place to unlock. Go to Ling. Oh, whoops. Okay, let's go to Ling uh, at the lab and see if I can unlock the next tier. Because I want to get that silver kelp. Um, but I guess if I can't get it myself, I might try to buy it. But I think I remember the kelp being super expensive. So maybe not. Where's the lab again? Okay, lab's there. Okay, so she has a evil lab or something? Oh. Super coral.
Cool. Uh, let's see, I don't have fossil means. Don't have kelp essence yet. Uh, silver kelp is 500 each. Okay, definitely not buying it. It's not worth spending that much on sprinklers. If it was like 500 gold or coral for one sprinkler, I'd be fine. But 500 each and I need five. I think that's like 2,000 something for one sprinkler. That's gonna be too much. I won't be able to upkeep it. Oh, I should buy some more seeds. Oh, they're closed. Okay, so how do I open this one? Because I feel like I already unlocked all of the sites, right? So how do I unlock these two? Yeah, because these ones are open. So I go down here. Oh, okay.
Wait, why is this spot empty? Is it like not tilled? Oh, it's not tilled. Okay. My inventory is full. Uh, so much loot. I wish the chests were bigger. Oh, right. Can I? Let's see if I can get the uh, upgraded essence. Crafting. Oh, stone into glass. That would be very useful, actually. Uh, but let's see. I need that extractor first. Uh, too bad nothing really makes... Uh... Wait, you can make traps? Oh, for catching insects, I guess. And then I guess this is to make your base look better, but I don't really care about that. You just care about this sprinkler. Oh, I need scrap. How come scrap's so hard to get? Sounds creepy. Cabin and forest sell item to you. Oh! I know what they're talking about. That cabin. That weird cabin next to the cavern. She got this wasabi. Is that a monkey? OG farmer hat. I don't. Oh, that's the harvest moon hat. Okay, but I really need to farm this though. I really want to get to this floor 30. So hopefully this time I won't get unlucky RNG and like miss every single one. Hopefully I can actually get the, uh, oh yes. Okay, so far so good. This time's much better. What the? Why is it grass? So far so good actually. Already two floors and I barely like used up a lot of st uh, any stamina yet.
Okay, so we're just one floor away. So I think I should definitely be able to get to 30 this time. Wow, this sounds very useless. Very disappointing. Wait, are outfits just cosmetic only? Well, that was, uh... go to the temple to hand in the wasabi first though because I don't want to accidentally use it up uh, it was hard enough to find one and I don't think I'll be lucky enough to get multiple so let's just quickly head over to the temple and hand in that wasabi wait are these actually wasabi because that does seem kind of like what I just pulled out like it's three leaves man I think the worst far, uh, thing about this game is just that getting from like traveling the entire town is just so time consuming and boring because uh, you're just kind of just walking in one direction moving up and down a little bit I wish it was a little bit more fun, but what can you do? Okay, good. Actually managed to hand in this. This stuff is a little bit harder to get. But at least I handed in wasabi, which I remember. I wonder if I can actually, like, see what I need to hand in from here. Like, without having to walk over there. This is such a stupid design, then. Like, you have this progress report, but you can't click in to see what you need to actually get that progress, which is so stupid. Like, why would you design a UI like that? It's not functional. It's it's just there for absolutely no reason. It's completely useless. Like, you could delete that page, and it wouldn't matter because it doesn't tell you. Like, it doesn't help you. It doesn't tell you what you need. It just tells you your progress, what you did. But, like, you can remember what you did. What you would want to do is what you haven't done. And, like, it would be great to see what you haven't done instead of having that kind of thing that's there and doesn't do anything. Like, if you could click in and bring up, like, a menu just to show you, hey, this is what you're still missing. That's useful. But instead, it's just a useless, useless thing that's there. It exists, but it's not serving any purpose. Oh, another wasabi. Nice. Uh, but yeah, definitely the worst thing about the game is the transversal part, like having to walk between two locations so many times and it takes so long to do so. Not fun. Absolutely horrible uh, experience, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we made some good progress. Uh, I don't know. If I'm going to keep on recording the same everything, every single day kind of thing, I might do like a time skip kind of thing. So like in progress report, uh, mainly just because it feels a little bit tedious to play. And I'm sure it feels even worse to watch. Um, so 
I don't know if I'll keep on making continuous ones. I may just skip through seasons and just to show off what my experience is as I play through the game. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.